move it, don't move it, don't move it. Don't move it, don't move it. Keep your feet on it. Keep your feet on it. Keep your feet on it. Yes, you can. So today will be leg day. So usually on leg day, I always explain to y'all that I don't have heavy weight. So I don't know how this leg day is going to be intense. But all I know is that every, I say this at the beginning, and then I end up having an intense workout. But the leg extensions are not going to be heavy enough. So it's going to take a long time for me to refill your own, uh, leg extensions. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to refill your quicker. If the weight is too light. Because all I got is 45 pounds to do leg extensions on and coming from someone that could literally leg extension three, 300 pounds with my legs. You know, the weight, I need heavier weight. So let me show y'all what I do. So while I'm doing reps, right, I like to do this, to push the weight down while I try to go up like this. And I push the weight down. I push the weight down while I go up or whenever I'm just, I'm not, I'm not gonna use two hands, but I'll use like one hand. So. I'm trying to pull my legs up. I'm pulling my leg. I'm pulling the uh, hamstring part down, so it could be harder for me to go up. See how long it's taking to reach failure? That's why this weight is light. So now we on our second set. I like to just do two sets to a failure each exercise. I like to go beyond failure, right? Some hard sets beyond failure. And then I like to isolate uh to the next exercise, I guess. Just two hard sets to a failure. I in my opinion, I think three to two sets into a failure is literally all you need if you're going to that certain amount of intensity. Like if you're doing like a couple of reps and then it start burning a little bit and you drop the weight. That's not going into a failure. That's just you curling into your into your arm for like it a burn a little bit and you just drop it because you just feel a little bit tired. You don't want to go that far. <laughs> Alright, so those legs just were pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now, 
we're going to move on to some Bulgarian squats. Y'all are going to enjoy those. Well, not y'all, because I'm going to be the one doing the exercise, but <laughs> I will enjoy those. That's like the exercise that hurt the most. It's them Bulgarian squats and them hamstring curls. Those are the ones that hurt really the most, in my opinion. I think the only thing I'm going to really isolate for legs is leg extensions, hamstring curls, and Bulgarian squats. I don't really see a point in doing any other exercise other than Bulgarian squats, leg extensions, hamstring curls, and uh, calf raises. I'll just do those four components. All I really need, then I'll target my calves, my hamstring, my quads, my glutes, all at the same time, because Bulgarian squats train, I'm pretty sure glutes, uh, a little bit of quads, not even a little bit, like a right here, this side of your quads, and uh, I'm pretty sure it train uh, hamstring too. I think I just said that, but yeah, train quad, glute, hamstring. Basically, all I want to train right now. I'm trying to get my whole leg destroyed. I guess it's time to get busy. Ain't that right? Be all failure like that, that's gonna get your legs right. That was true failure right there. That was true failure. I would say let's get hydrated, but I usually do not like getting hydrated in the middle of the workout. I like to drink water when it's over, but let's 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 drink water when it's over, I guess. Like we've been doing for like months and years. Sometimes here and there I'll drink water while I'm training, which is the right thing to do. It's not that's not a bad thing at all. I just built a habit of just forgetting to get hydrated after a workout or forgetting to get hydrated during a workout. Sometimes I don't even drink water when I'm done. <laughs> set with these dumbbells right here and then we move on to these hamstring curls this is getting good this is getting real good get a piece of this new forbidden bar that i forgot to eat earlier last night all right let's digest this and we're getting back to work <laughs>
That's freaking crazy. Let's move on to these calf raises now. Oh. Y'all ask me why don't I show my legs? I just feel like it's not really masculine to show other men your legs. I feel like that's kind of weird. So I just stopped doing it. But of course we don't skip leg day though. I do legs like all every single week, so. But I, I definitely would not be showing my legs though. I just feel like that's pretty weird. If if you're a man, you if if y'all you know, like if y'all y'all know what I'm coming from like. Y'all just, that just feels weird, like, dropping my pants to show people my legs. It just looks weird. So, I'm, I will never be doing that no time soon. <sighs> but we will be training the legs. Every single week, we will not be skipping leg day. We never skip leg day. I'll see y'all in the next one.